Those cheers signal change. A major league soccer franchise, now the latest chapter of reviving downtown St. Louis. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Courtney Bryant. Steve is off tonight. Many details still need to be worked out before the first match takes place in St. Louis. But MLS soccer is coming to the city. That much we know now. The first game will happen in March of 2022, and the MLS believes it will be played inside a new $200 million stadium downtown. However, all parties are mum tonight exactly where that will go. We do know it will be located in the vicinity of Union Station on Market near Jefferson. News Force Alexis Dodos is tracking those developments. She joins us live in downtown St. Louis. Courtney, a scarf was placed on the runner statue here in Keener Plaza this morning, and that was the clue that so many St. Louisans were waiting for. It's a scarf that has MLS as well as today's date, 8-2019, a date that many believe will go down in St. Louis sports history. A cold beer to the right, or you're welcome to head on into the main beer hall. Duh. The line snaking around Urban Chestnut Brewery at the Grove tonight as fans revel in the news of St. Louis becoming the 28th MLS team. So soccer is very important to me and my family and obviously the, the city in general. Um, I've been playing soccer my whole life. The MLS for the Lou ownership group hosted the happy hour as a thank you to fans. We're setting records on social media and news outlets about how excited not only North America but the world is about St. Louis getting this team. The excitement evident at the brewery filled to capacity. The question was, how can St. Louis not have a team? Um, so to finally be this close to it and to be able to say that it's a reality is, uh, is something I, I honestly never thought would happen, but uh, just uh, very excited about the possibilities. Mike Laposha played for the St. Louis Ambush, the city's indoor team, when the team won the championship in 1995. He knows very well about the soccer fandom in our city and hopes to see it continue to grow. When I was growing up, the only opportunities that, that we had to look forward to were in indoor soccer. And uh, it didn't stop us from, from reaching for those goals. Uh, now that there is a, a first-rate, top-level outdoor soccer opportunity, um, is only going to encourage more kids, boys and girls, um, to, uh, to reach for the same goals that I was reaching for when I was a kid. Many that are already donning these scarves around town, of course, are asking when can they buy tickets? We have learned today that they will not be using PSLs for those season tickets. When those season tickets go on sale, well, that will happen once they finalize the stadium details. We're told some of those details should be coming in the next few weeks. Reporting live in downtown, Alexis Soto's News 4. Another big question that remains, what will the team be named? The league will immediately begin that process. It plans to engage fans to determine a name and team colors. The process will include the ownership group, we're told. And these are the faces at the forefront of bringing you a team. The ownership group is led by Carolyn Kendall Betts. She and other women behind the scenes make up what will be the league's first female majority ownership group. Other members of the group include Betts' uncle, Andy Taylor, and Worldwide Technology CEO, Jim Cavanaugh.